This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Now, some of you may have noticed that I'm wearing a gold chasuble tonight. I was actually wearing it on that first Sunday, the first day of the new covenant. Bev called me out on it, in fact, and asked why I was wearing it on a day in ordinary time. And what I couldn't tell her then, but what I can share with you all now is that I chose to wear it because it wasn't an ordinary Sunday, not even a little. I had cause to celebrate, to rejoice. It was a holy day. And tonight, tonight will be different as well. Tonight is the beginning of a new era, and we are meant to celebrate that resurrection, and we will, more than anyone ever has. But first, forgive me, brothers and sisters, for I have sinned. It has been too long since my last confession, and it is so long overdue, but here is my sin. I have lied to you all. I did not come here to replace Monsignor Pruitt. He isn't recovering in a hospital on the mainland. He is perfectly healthy. He's been blessed, as you all have been blessed. He has been made whole, made well, made young, the same as you. He was healed long before you ever saw this face. He was the first, in fact, and now he stands before you, asking for your forgiveness. Some of you must have thought it before in the backs of your minds, minds so trained by the world to ignore that voice, because how could it be? That's impossible. But nothing is impossible with God as we have seen. I was lost and confused, tired and old on the road to Damascus, when lo and behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto me and bestowed upon me the healing graces of God, and I was restored, as you all have been restored. And I returned to you all and brought with me that angel of the Lord so that he might bless us all, and he has. We've all seen the miracles, our new bodies, the resurrection of the body, new and everlasting life. Now, tonight, we will be tested just a little bit, but we will be tested, as was Jesus. I was afraid when the new covenant was fulfilled for me, afraid as was our Savior, but he who says he abides in him ought also to walk just as he walked. Be followers of Christ. I followed him into the valley of darkness, and like our Lord, I endured death mercifully short. A leap of faith, a walk out onto water was all that he asked of me. Like Jesus, you will doubt, you will fear, but I promise you, brothers and sisters, if you follow me, if you follow us, if you follow him, he will raise you again in his glory to eternal life. There is a price to pay for life everlasting. And each one of us will have the opportunity tonight to pay that price.